In times like these everyone lacks hope, purpose and salvation. As a result, humanity is subject to its sinful nature, chasing depravity and abolishing all sense of decency, believing that this might fill the emptiness they have in their lives. Whether it may be adultery, seeking fame on social media, or striving for riches. All these bring no fulfillment and leave one with a bitter aftertaste. However, every human has hope, purpose and a salvation and that in only Jesus Christ. He sacrificed himself for our sins so that we may have the salvation which is eternal life in heaven. But not only this. In him you will find hope for the future. Because we Christians know that all things work together for good to them that love God. If you accept these facts, you are equipped to lead a purposeful lifestyle in Christ. May Jesus Christ bless you in your walk. Is listening to secular music a sin? Avoid Hollywood completely. My beloved sons and daughters, the younger generation especially, the youth. Are you a teenager? You're in your 20s, in your 30s, in your 40s? Why are you listening to music that comes out of Hollywood? What are you gaining out of it? This guy is a rapper. This guy is I don't know what. Do you know Hollywood is actually controlled by the Illuminati's? It's absolute satanic. Let me tell you, my, my beloved sons and daughters, the young generation, the youth, the teenagers, especially. Some guy comes from America, or he is a rapper, or he's a famous, a celebrity. The whole world goes and they pay big money just to see and watch nonsense, evilness. Hollywood was established for one thing, to brainwash humanity and take it away from God. Believe me, believe me, believe me. It was made for one reason, to brainwash millions upon millions upon millions of young men and women and take them away from the true divine God because you have no idea. Music, my beloved, entertainment comes and enters through the back door of your imagination. I've spoken about this before, but please, since I've mentioned it, let me talk a little bit about it. This is in the book of Revelation. Music, when you listen to it, when you choose to listen to it, you have no control anymore. Please. It's a form of hypnosis. Did you know this? It's a form of hypnosis. Hypnosis affects the subconscious mind. Us humans have no control over the subconscious mind. We can only try to fix the rational conscious mind. The subconscious will control us. When you allow this kind of a rhythm, let me tell you about Hollywood. Even the drum beat, the beat is done sometimes in a particular way. It's a ritual thing. It's an evil, evil, evil thing. It's a hypnotic way to the, rush, to the subconscious mind of the human being. When that music enters through the door of imagination, now listen, my beloveds, imagination is a beautiful gift from the good God. It's a good gift from the good God. All of us, we imagine through our imagination, we can go to heaven. We can go anywhere we want to go with imagination. There is no limit. God imagines since he created us in his image, whatever he is and has, he has placed in this human being this imagination when it gets tarnished it will affect your subconscious mind it will shape mold and form your subconscious mind and guess what before you know it 
since you have no control over the subconscious mind, the moment it is shaped and affected, the subconscious mind will send it to the conscience, the rational mind. When it gets to your rational mind, you're gone. You're gone. You see millions listening to this, and they're all jumping. What are you, like a piston in this engine, car engine going up and down? What are you? What are you jumping for? What are you doing? What are you doing? If you want to listen to a song, listen to a song that has the name of Jesus Christ in it to cleanse your way of thinking, to purify your imagination. Because when the name of Jesus enters through the door of imagination, it purifies your imagination. Guess what? Imagination is the way for you ending up worshiping God or Satan. Did you know this? It is the imagination that will take me later on onto faith and then worshiping God. But if the imagination is not pure, I will veer off and go to the dark side. Satan will take over. Satan will take over. So we need to purify this imagination. How do we do it? Only God can. I need to be clinging to the word of the Lord. Listen to songs, make them, make them songs that are about, about the Lord, praising God, something that is pure. Some of the lyrics of these rap thing, like foul language, filth, filth, he is swearing. And you call this a song? Do you, know, do you know who taught the human race how to swear? Satan. <laughs> what do you think you got it out of, out of the thin air? No, you didn't learn it yourself. It wasn't your friend. Satan taught people how to swear. Do you want to know what Satan does? He is the one, the master of swear words. He swore against Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Swear words came from Satan, no one else. He is the source. So when somebody uses swear words, he is speaking the language of Satan. It's not you. <laughs> it's not your whatever, friend, cousin. No, 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 no. All of you learned from Satan. The Lord, so holy, so pure, 